Hi, it's Sally Sago. I'm just gonna, I've had a little bit of a problem with a knock sensor. Knock sensor, <laughs> knock sensor. After coming back from London with my little trip up there to the little bit of gold and a bit of hunting and everything else, the engine light came on and uh, I found out that it was a knock sensor. So I bought a, an aftermarket knock sensor and I put that on, but unfortunately it didn't work. Um, and I looked up the net and a bloke on the net was telling me that you have to have the original knock sensors. Aftermarket knock sensors do not work. So I've now chased up an original knock sensor. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but this one's got a little yellow dot right in the front of it. Uh, and this one doesn't. As you can see, the aftermarket one doesn't have the, the dot. And it's also got Japan written on it. Trying to make sure that you do have a genuine part is very, very, very hard. I have bought a lot of... Um, parts over the time and they haven't been genuine which they were supposed to be. Uh, in saying that I've also found that I've got a little oil leak so the motor's got to come out again. Taking this, putting, replacing this knock sensor is not an easy job and the reason it's not an easy job is that you have to take off the throttle body uh, so that you can get at it and if you don't do that you run the risk of I guess you could say stripping the thread or cross threading the, the bolt thread. And once you do that, you, you're in a lot of problems. I'm not going to go through all the details of uh, how to do a knock sensor or anything like that, but we just seem to be having a little problem after little problem with this motor vehicle for some reason or other. But what I wanted to talk about is getting the right parts. You do a lot of work and repair in your car and you find out that you don't have the right parts, such as when we done the timing belt. We found out later that the, uh, the tension pulley wasn't a gates tension pulley which it was supposed to be and it didn't work and then that jumped the belt and as I told you in previous videos that he had a bent number three cylinders uh, num number three cylinder uh, valves so getting the right parts is very hard it's not a hard job it's just a, a time-consuming job and if you've got any mechanical experiences you can you can do it on your own by yourself but make sure you take the throttle body off, your air cleaner off, so that you can get at it and make sure that you do not cross that thread on that bolt when you put it back in again. That is the most important thing. So with that, I'll, I'll leave it at that and uh, I'll put this back on. I know there's been videos done of the knock sensor, so I'm not gonna go right into it. And as you can see, I have the throttle body off and everything else. There's been a lot of a lot of videos done on this so I'm not going to go over it again. So that's what we're up to. Sooner or later I'll get the vehicle back on the road and hopefully there'll be no more dramas. But for now it's Charlie Sager saying goodbye, look after yourself and remember you're important. There's only one of you. Catch you later. Bye.